Hello everybody, RetroGamer here. Well, it's going to be a follow-up video to my last video. Had a few questions. Um, actually, how to get the emulators and burn them to DVD. Well, first of all, you can get emulators from just about anywhere online. Just use Google. Google is your friend. But once you uh, get your emulators, I'll show you how to, what you actually need to copy over to uh the Xbox. When you're looking for emulators for the Xbox, you need to look up four emulators for that Xbox. Your regular PC emulators will not work on your Xbox. You have to use an original Xbox emulator. However, I will put a link below in the description of a, a place where I uploaded some emulators to. And, uh, I'll let you guys snag them from there if you want to. And I believe they're the Atari 2600, 7800 links <coughs> and the Intellivision complete sets. I believe all of them have complete set ROMs. But that being said, what you're going to do is you're going to download it. It'll give you an emulators.zip, which is right here. You right click on that and you click unzip. It'll unzip it, drop it in the same place that you have your emulators.zip. It'll create a folder called emulators. Inside that emulators, you'll have four file folders, and this is your emulator for the 2600, the 700, the Lynx, and the Intellivision. At this point, what you're going to do is you're going to run your, your software, whatever it may be, uh, that you burn with. I, I'm using right now Express Burn, and what you do is you open it up, you click choose to make a dad dvd and like i said before i don't don't use cds use a dvd i know it's, it seems like a waste but use a dvd burn them to dvd you'll have these four file folders or what you'll do excuse me i jumped ahead of myself there what you'll do is it'll say select the files that you want to uh burn what I did is I opened up the emulators folder, left click, control A, that highlights them all, left click held it, and I dragged them all over here and I dropped them. Because you need to copy these folders to the root of the DVD. Once you copy them to the root of the DVD, click burn data. That's it. Or whatever your software may say. But as long as these file folders are just like this, and the root of the DVD, that's all that matters. Burn them to the, to the DVD, and away you go. That should give you a complete ROM set of the 26, the 78, the links, and the Intellivision. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Atari 7800 Junkie, I hope this helps you out a lot. If not, I guess we'll just keep moving forward, and I'll keep helping as much as I can. But anyway, guys... Thanks for watching, and everybody have a great day.